What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dominator, continuing our series of bad weapons and gear in Borderlands 2. Now this weapon, uh, you get as a unique quest reward, it's obviously an E-Tech doll pistol, and it's always guaranteed to be corrosive. To get the quest to start this, or to start the quest to get this gun, I should say, you'll go out to the Sawtooth Cauldron and go to a little off section of the first little area. Um, you climb up some stairs to get the quest, and then you have to kill a number of bandits in order to get four map pieces. And then those four map pieces will send you to the Caustic Caverns, where you then have to find and hit four different kind of hidden switches, and then go up to the center of the um, whole mining operation there in the Caustic Caverns, and you'll find the chest that's going to end up giving you this weapon. Now this weapon is pretty bad. It's not much different than a normal dart in any way, shape, or form, other than the fact that it is always guaranteed to be corrosive. And you'll see here the bullets kind of home around and bounce around, um, and then they'll eventually, you know, get to a target. Upon finding a target, they'll take just a little while before exploding. I think I went ahead and set that loader off here in the first room. So we'll go ahead and find him and then try to kill him. Which I expect to be a little bit difficult with this weapon. So we're going to go ahead, get him slagged, kunide, and then we're going to go ahead and shoot him a few times. As you can see, it takes a little bit for the dart bullets to actually explode. And then the damage will actually come on the enemy. And just by default, I think that is an awful effect that definitely limits the gun's use. I don't know why you would want your damage to actually come in a delayed fashion. It definitely seems like that would be something you wouldn't want. Another thing that really hampers this weapon and makes it a lot worse is that it's impossible to get a critical hit with this weapon on normal enemies. I think the only weapon you can get critical hits with this weapon are on Crystalisk and maybe, you know, a select few other enemies, but I doubt it. So, as you can see here, um, it's definitely taking a little while to kill these enemies. I am wearing a class mod right now that is going to boost uh, pistol efficiency. It boosts rising shot pistol magazine and pistol fire rate as well as shield recharge rate which should help a little bit because I'll be taking damage using this very very awful weapon here's another quick look at the skill build I'm using right now and badass rank is off so you're not gonna get any uh, any type of confusion or you know added stats here to the gun and as you can see it takes a little while there for the bullets to actually start damaging an enemy like I said just a second ago I think that is an awful concept that absolutely makes zero sense to me. It seems like you would want your bullets to deal damage upon impact. That way you could clear enemies quicker and kill them quicker. Also the homing effect will make it so that sometimes you're not even hitting the enemy you're aiming for or even aiming at. So that's definitely something you want to avoid um, if you were designing a gun that would actually be usable or fun to use in my opinion. As you can see here, um, we are killing some enemies. I am wearing a corrosive relic to boost my corrosive damage. The Bone of the Ancients, in fact. And then we're also making use of Slag and Death Blossom to deal with these enemies. As well as Deception. But as you can see, it's very weird. So I can shoot over here, and the bullets will eventually get back to some of these enemies, I would imagine. I took all my points out of Accelerate, or Velocity, excuse me. Um so that it is velocity on zero it's accelerate on Maya correct yeah it's velocity on zero and I took those out just so you could kinda see the curve and arc of this gun because not every character has a way to boost projectile speed And as you can see the bullets do kinda travel in a weird arc um, and they actually you know move a little bit slower than normal bullets will as well like most dart weapons and overall, you know, like all darts, I consider this gun to just be pretty damn bad. Obviously, I'm still killing things here with it at overpower level 8, but that's mainly due to Zero's, you know, um, potency and everything like that. And making good use of slag as well, which helps a lot. I did use this weapon momentarily and briefly at, uh, oh god, we're going to die, and there's no way we'll get a second win with this gun, I wouldn't imagine. Do I have a corrosive weapon? Okay, we can slag him, and then we'll see if this is even able to get me a second wind. Um, probably not. I do have two fang as well, which is boosting my fire rate. Oh my god, we were able to get a second wind. 
but it was close. You know, usually using a corrosive weapon on a loader like that would net better results. Anyway, like I was saying, I did use this weapon briefly on my first playthrough just because I didn't have a corrosive weapon um, on my level when I first got to some of the loader heavy areas. And as soon as I found a corrosive weapon to replace this, I just, I sold this gun immediately. At that point in time, I was still saving most of my uniques for testing purposes and everything like that. But I had already ascertained that this particular gun was going to be terrible. Oh my god, I'm going to die for sure. And I am out of transfusions. Yeah, so we're definitely not going to get a second wind here. Overall, I would definitely rate the Dominator as one of the worst weapons in Borderlands 2. It is absolutely pitiful, and I can't imagine, you know, a use for this weapon at all. It is really, really, really bad. Um, I guess maybe I could restock on transfusion grenades and go back up to that badass loader and give him a second try. This video has been pretty short so far. So I guess we'll do that, and that will probably be the end of this. This weapon, you know, I can't recommend it at all. Um, like most E-Tech pistols and a lot of E-Tech weapons in general, it definitely lacks killing power, it definitely lacks viability, and, you know, any real reason to use it. And that's pretty big shame. Um, there are some unique E-Tech weapons, like the Longbow, which are very, very powerful. And this one is not one of them. In fact, I'm not even sure why it would need to be um, its own kind of unique E-Tech weapon. Um, considering you could probably just get a corrosive dart um, made by Dahl. And it wouldn't be much different from this weapon at all. In fact, I'm not sure if it would be different from this weapon. You, so one of you guys would have to tell me that. Um, so, I got him slagged. He's in a better spot now and we can kind of move away from him a little bit. We'll see if this will actually kind of home in on him. It looks like they might be homing in on him a little. Oh good, you can see the little damage there. We're dealing a little bit of damage to him. Alright, go ahead and get some more slag and kunai on him. Hopefully we get some transfusion heals coming as well. Alright, we'll use this wall to protect ourselves here. Try to put some more bullets at him. The homing effect isn't even working very well either. So, you know. There's really no redeeming qualities to this weapon at all. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Didn't want to take that foot stomp at all. Alright, so maybe the corrosive damage over time will give us a second wind. I think that, you know, pretty much goes to show just how bad the Dominator is. Tell me some other weapons you guys would like to see in this series. I'm definitely going to pump a few of these videos out. They're pretty fun to do, you know, using some weapons that I never really ever planned on using again. And, you know, it's not it's not that serious of a series or whatever, so if you guys would like to see some really dumb weapons that I might be forgetting about up to this point, the reason I'm doing this weapon is because some of you guys suggested it and everything like that. And, you know, it's definitely a good pick. This is easily one of the worst weapons in the game in my mind. Um, it's pretty bad. So, yikes. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments, and I'll try to answer those for you guys. Otherwise, as always, I thank you guys very much for watching. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, I hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.